Hey everyone, it's Adam with UploadWP.com and we're going to continue taking a look at some of the free WooCommerce plugins. In this video specifically, we're going to look at the WooCommerce Customizer plugin. Uh, this plugin allows you to uh, customize WooCommerce pages uh, without having to uh, override template files or touch any of the code. Um, so it's a real handy plugin that uh, I think will benefit many people. Um, so if we go out to our demo site, we're at worldcuptees.com and we log into the WordPress admin. You can see that I've already installed the WooCommerce Customizer plugin. Uh, once installed, just go ahead and click on Configure and I'll show you some of the options that you have. Alright, so we're on the Shop Loop tab right here. Uh, so what this is going to allow us to do is make customizations to the Add to Cart button text that shows up on the WooCommerce Shop page. So if we go out to our site and we click on Shop, alright, this would allow us to make to change this label here that says uh, select options alright so let's say we wanted to change that to uh, for variable products which all my products right now currently are out there or most of them are I have one group product but uh, let's say I wanted to change it to add my change that label this select options to say um, add to my cart just go ahead and do that and then save changes so now it says add to my cart alright so you can change anything you wanted to but I'm just giving a quick example here of some of the things you can do and you can do that for all product types right here on the shop page um, you could even display the layout of the or you could even customize the display of the layout on the shop page uh, for example if you wanted to control the number of products that display on the shop page uh, let's just say we only wanted for whatever reason four products to display we would just put four in there and then save customizations and if I refresh this, we should only have four products that display now on the shop page. And there you can see we're on the shop page and we only have four products that display now and then you'd have to click here to go to the next. Alright, so that gives you control, uh, a lot of control over uh, the WooCommerce shop page. Let's say we wanted to control the product page and make some updates to the product detail page. Alright, so let's just go to a product. Um, let's just click on this one and let's say we wanted to make some updates um, to the product detail page. Alright, so uh, using this one as our example, uh, again you just click on the product page tab and tab titles. Alright, we could change the product description tab title to anything we wanted. So for example, uh, right now it just says description. We could change that to say anything. Um, we could change the product description label right here to say something different. So let's say uh, tab content heading, so product description. Let's just say we wanted to say, uh, wanted it to say instead of product description, more about this product. Okay, let's say we wanted to change it to that. Save customizations. All right, you can see now it says more about this product. So we just change the tab content heading for product description. We could do the same thing for additional information. Um, add to cart button text for all product types at the product detail level. Alright, so as you can see, if I select it and it says add to cart, let's say I wanted to change that to something, say something else. Um, you do that by just entering whatever text you want right here. I'll just say add to my cart, save customizations. There you go. Alright, let's do one more quick example. You could uh, make customizations on the WooCommerce checkout page. Right here, you could change the message that's, uh, that they get when uh, you must be logged in. You can change the coupon text. So, for example, if I go to uh, the checkout, let's, go, let's just go right to checkout here, actually. If I go to the checkout page, okay, and it says have a coupon, I could change that. Okay, let's say we wanted to change that to something else. Okay, we've changed it to that and save customizations and now it changed to want to save money alright so those are just a few examples of how you can use this WooCommerce customizer free plugin to uh, make uh, updates make customizations to the WooCommerce pages uh, if you want even more control over WooCommerce pages and, may, and customizing them then check out uh, our tutorial out on uploadwp.com where we talk about overriding WooCommerce template files uh, that will give you even more control, but this is just a, a simple uh, way to do it with using this free plugin where you don't have to touch any code at all and you can make changes uh, to Woo WooCommerce pages. So thanks for taking time to watch this one. My name is Adam and we'll see you in the next video.